a uh, intrepid Bitcoiner in San Francisco has started um, hiding little aluminum uh, Bitcoin wallets around the city worth uh, just 20, bu- 20 bucks each. But he's tweeting the clues about their locations to Twitter followers and kind of sending San Francisco people on a treasure hunt for digital currency. I think that's just hilarious. <laughs> like that just sounds like a fun thing to do. I would uh-huh. do that if I had the money. Yeah, I've I've actually thought about doing something like that before. But like, I mean, yeah, I don't I don't really have the money to do that. <laughs> I'm not I'm not rich with bitcoins or anything. I mean, I'm lucky to have a job that pays me in bitcoin. Yeah. But it's not making me rich by any means. But you know, I thought about doing that. But another issue is like this guy who's in San Francisco doing this, like he makes these really nice looking aluminum cards that have the public key, the private key. Um, it's got his Twitter username on it. And it's got like a, a link um, to a website that'll teach people how to use Bitcoin, you know? So in case someone finds it, who doesn't, who has never heard of Bitcoin before, it's got a link there where they can go online and, and learn about how to, you know, redeem the wallet and start using the digital currency. So I think it's I think it's pretty um, interesting how you know it's an interesting way to promote adoption um, and acceptance to random people. You know. Yeah, it's just it's a fun thing to do too. Like, it kind of reminds me of geocaching. Yeah. You yeah. know, except with you know money. Something people can actually use. Have you been geocaching before? Have you gone searching for that kind of stuff? No, I've just you know I've just heard about it. Yeah, I've and tried. Pretty much I've it. actually tried going geocaching before. Like I, I pull, I downloaded an app on my phone and like uh, searched for locations around my area for people who have set things down, and um, and. <laughs> Like I didn't actually find anything that was worth anything. The 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 only substantial thing that I found in my geocache hunt was like a little piece of paper with everyone's name signed on it who <laughs> found that little thing. So I didn't find any like money or anything awesome like that, and certainly no yeah. bitcoins. But yeah, like it's um um uh, SF hidden Bitcoin doing doing good stuff it's 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 a new twist on geocaching like it's actually it's worth something you know i think that the new sf hidden bitcoin thing hiding hiding bitcoin aluminum wallets around san francisco is better in some ways than the original hidden cash which was uh the the rich guy hiding dollars and 20s and in envelopes around the city and then tweeting clues to it I'm biased because I'm involved in Bitcoin, so <laughs> I, I, I like I like the the Bitcoin one better than the regular cash one because it's promoting Bitcoin acceptance and it's just a really fun idea. And he's really doing it well too with those really nicely made aluminum cards. So I think it's it's really exciting. And I like I back, I live in San Jose, so San Francisco is just like a 60 minute drive away from me, or like a two hour um, ride in the on on Bart. And I've considered like going up there and looking for these things, you know, <laughs> joining the hunt. But then yeah. I'm like, uh, like it's it's only twenty dollars per wallet, and uh, you know, just driving up there would probably cost twenty bucks in <laughs> gas. So I'm like, um, if I lived in San Francisco, I would definitely go do it. But you know, I think for now, I'll just I'll just watch afar from Twitter and watch these people get it. Yeah, it looks pretty fun. I wish somebody would do that in my area, but. I seem to be the only person I know in my town that even knows what Bitcoin is. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you were, if you were to do this, like you would probably spread adoption a little bit, spread acceptance or something. But um, you wouldn't like you wouldn't get a lot of people like going out to search to search for it, you know, because no one really knows about Bitcoin. Yeah, I mean, the most likely case would be somebody would pick it up. And like throw it in the trash because they thought it was litter or something. <laughs> yeah, you're like, what? What is this? What's a little piece of paper with a QR code on it? What? The, what piece of junk? I don't want to go to your stupid QR website and promoting this Bitcoin company thingy. Psh, throw away. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's tough living out in the country. Just a bunch of rednecks. <laughs> hey, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well. You know, maybe in the future, maybe in the future, though, like uh, as Bitcoin gets more widely accepted, give, give it a few years, you'll 
you'll get a few Bitcoiners, redneck Bitcoiners out in the country, you know? Yeah, Give I think it'd be time. cool. I think it'd be cool if you could just like go to a farm or somewhere and buy like, you know, like a sack of corn for 20 bucks in Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> He's got, a giant, he's got a giant QR code on his barn. Yeah. <laughs> or a couple of chickens. <laughs> he like brands the chickens with the QR code so you can, <laughs> so you can, so you can scan it and pay in bitcoins for some chickens and, you know, and cow and, mm, yeah. Man, that, we would officially be in the future when you can do that. Yeah. Yep. Hey, it's going to happen. I'm telling you, just give it some time. <laughs> You'll be able to buy chickens with Bitcoin. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so um, yeah, SF hidden Bitcoin, good stuff. Keep keep hiding. He's doing it throughout the entire uh, month of July. Um, every day in July, uh, twenty dollar wallet. So if you live, hey, viewers of the Coin Brief podcast, if you live in or near San Francisco, like go go do this. It's fun. Like if you have a day to spare, go um, search for the search for the wallet, follow the clues. I tried deciphering some of the clues myself. I don't really get those riddles. Even if I lived <laughs> in San Francisco, I probably wouldn't be able to find this thing. It's a big city too. But yeah, if you live near there, if, you, if you're if you confident in finding out what the clues mean, go for it. It's probably fun. Make a free, make an extra 20 bucks for your, for your scavenger hunting efforts. <laughs>